Okay guys, welcome back to your 11th Slug 2D tutorial and now that we understand how to get mouse input from the user, I'm going to teach you guys how to get keyboard input from the user because every cool computer game uses the keyboard in one way or another. So as you probably noticed, I cleaned out everything out of my menu class right here. I pretty much have no variables, nothing in my methods. The only thing I have is this one line because of course we still not need that identification number for this state right here. So the first thing I want to do, well, actually let me tell you what program I'm going to be making. Just for, you know, demonstration purposes, I'm just going to have an image on the screen and whenever I press up, down, left, or right on my keyboard, this image is going to move around the screen. Now obviously this isn't a very fun game, but once you understand how to use the keyboard and get input from the user, you guys are going to understand how to do anything with the keyboard. So you know, pretty boring example, but it's going to teach you a lot of cool concepts. So the first thing I want to do is declare my face image right up here. Now the reason that I don't want to declare in any of these methods is because whenever you declare inside a method, of course, only that method has access to it. So if I declare up here, every method can access it. And we're going to be using it actually in a bunch of different methods as you're going to see. So now what I want to do is I want to make variables for the x and y coordinates. I'll just stick it at 200 and 200 to begin with. So face y coordinate equals 200. And the reason that I'm not just coding hardcore values and I actually want to use variables for my coordinates is because whenever we want the face to move, we're going to have to change the coordinates. Now, of course, whenever we change something, it's easier to change a variable hence the name variable it varies so now that we pretty much set up all the variables what we can do is we can hop over inside in it and declare the or pretty much I don't want to say declare because you know declare means declare a variable create the initial value for the face because well that's what in it is for initial values so the initial value for the face and pretty much the only value for the face is going to be new image my beautiful face, res my face dot ping. All right, so now we have my beautiful face, and it's equal to the image of my face instead of you know an image of a banana or a dumpster or anything like that. So after that, let's go ahead and hop over to render, and inside render is basically where we're going to draw the initial face itself. So in order to draw something on the screen, use your graphing object, draw image. What do you want to draw? The face. Where do you want to draw? At face X and face Y. So now if we go ahead and run this game, check it out. Our face, well my face, not ours, hopefully you don't have that same face, I feel bad for you, appears on the screen. Pretty freaking sweet. But check it out. I'm pressing the mouse button. I'm hitting, you know, buttons on my keyboard. Nothing is happening. Not a very fun game. And we just are sitting here looking at my ugly face the whole time. So let's go ahead and change that. So, like I said, what I want to do is pretty much get input from the keyboard or from the user. And with that information, I'm going to determine, okay, depending on what key they're holding down, determines where I want to move the face. So the first thing we need to do in order to complete that is grab the input from the user. So input input equals GC get input. Now all of the input from the user whether it's from their mouse or their keyboard it comes from the input class and I'm just gonna store that all in an object called input. So now this object right here has all of the information that we need so we can extract the information and do some cool things with it. So even though that this input has all the information from the mouse and the keyboard, we are only worried about four buttons on the keyboard, up, down, left, and right. We basically want to say first, whenever you're holding the key up, then move the face up. So let's take things one at a time and determine how to do that first. Well, we do that using an if statement. And we need to say, okay, if input is key down, obviously this method is uh, you know self-explanatory, but it's pretty much saying, okay, if the user is pressing a certain key down, 
then you know do something so each key on your keyboard has a specific code and you'll probably see that hopefully it'll pop up yep right here each of these keys that you're looking at is a code for a button on your keyboard now you know if you want to know anyone then know any of them specifically then just go ahead and uh, you know look at the documentation online but I'll give you guys a quick little run through key underscore up is the up arrow on your keyboard and they're pretty much all self-explanatory if you just look through them so now we're saying okay when the user or I should say it like this if the user is pressing the up arrow I said up weird up arrow on their keyboard what do you want to do well what we want to do is we just want to update the coordinates of this image so once we update the coordinates of this image it's gonna look like it's moving so let me scroll down find where I'm working okay so up is of course Y vertical so face Y and the shorthand is minus equals and I'll just I'll just move it one pixel and this is pretty much saying okay whenever we're pressing up on the keyboard move the face one pixel up or move the coordinates one pixel up and this one right here is gonna move it one pixel and if you want to move it faster then give it you know a bigger value like five would we'll move it five pixels at a time so it would appear to be moving faster but I only move, want to move it one pixel and it's, this is probably gonna be pretty fast itself so now that we took care of the crap quits highlighting freaking computer now that we took care of the up arrow on the computer we need to do this three more times for down arrow left arrow and right arrow so since this code is going to be very similar what I'm going to do is just move this all on one line so I can manage it a lot easier so copy this paste 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 okay that one's for up so let's do down left and for the right arrow now of course the only other things we need to change is uh, these coordinates right here so instead of uh, you know moving up whenever you're hitting down if you add one to it it's going to move it down in the y direction now left and right we need to change these to x and minus and plus so now we're pretty much saying okay when you hit the well this is self-explanatory I don't need to explain that so let's go ahead and run this game and get to the good thing look at a freaking example so I'm gonna go ahead and hold up right now moving up hold down moving down move left move right up down left right up down left right guys I can do this for hours probably the coolest game in history moving my face around the screen awesome selling this for billions so there it is that is how you pretty much get keyboard input from the user and probably whenever you're making your game you want to do something a little more interesting than moving my face around the screen but that's the basics of it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video